Okay, yes, I'm back doing more of these UK PlayStation Magazine demos. I will move on to some other ones which aren't part of the series later on. Um, well, whenever I get the opportunity to record those. Yeah, I record this the same night as Demo 66 and 107. I'm trying, because I think I'd rather, you know, it might just be best to record several in one go, because, you know, I only get certain opportunities to record these kind of videos, to be honest, which I think is one of the main reasons I actually do the LPs. But let's see what's on this. So this is demo number 90. So as you can see, uh, actually I've said the background on this one looks pretty nice, I quite like it. Uh, but if we have a look at what games are actually on this, we have Lilo and Stitch, Firebugs, Monsters Inc., ISS Pro Evolution 2, oh god. My football. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Even though it was called Tony Hawk's Skateboarding originally, I don't get that. Everybody's Golf. Crash Team Racing. Bugs and Towers Time Busters. Team Mode 4. Which I'm pretty sure, well, it was the last revelation, wasn't it? Uh, Treasure Planet Video. Dancing Stage Euromix Party. And Downloader, which, uh, well, we'll see what that is at the end. Anyway, Lilo and Stitch, let's see what this is. We will see what it is quickly enough. I have not played this one before, so... I've seen it, and to be honest, it did not look very good, to be honest. Okay, so we've got... Well, we've got four minutes, so this one shouldn't take too long, thankfully. Unless it's like... Well, it seems to be stalled on... That timer. Okay. Brilliant. Disney Interactive. So yeah, this demo is from November... Yeah, I think November 2003, I believe. Yeah, pretty sure of that, actually. And, yes. Okay. Blitz Games. I've never heard of them. <laughs> I don't know if they've ever made any of the games. I don't bloody know. I'm pretty sure I watched the film back when it came out, but, uh, well. It's been over ten years since then, so... <clears throat> yeah. Simple and intuitive control system, I hope so. Maybe I can actually get somewhere in it. Look at those hips, brilliant. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Great loading screens. Oh. Okay. Brilliant. So yeah, basically, I remember the film was about some Hawaiian girl and some weird alien thing. Yeah. And that's it, pretty much. Maybe it is. Oh, it's like it's like eight p.m. now, so I suppose that is the case. Oh, do we see if that plays Lulu? If I play as the alien, I could probably get somewhere. So where am I supposed to go here? Can I own the house? Let's see. Nope. Oh, oh. Maybe press a button to go in. No, apparently not. But then, uh. Oh, oh, you can't go off the side, that kind of sucks. I was, I was kind of hoping I could. I guess I'm going to have to go to this. I wasted like 30 seconds just doing that. Which is, probably shows off my gaming skills, actually. I noticed right here it says, on, I'm looking at the case, it says new Firebugs demo. So I think maybe there was like another Firebugs demo that came out before this, the one that's on here. But that is pretty much the game I'm looking forward to because... It's actually pretty good from what I remember, because it's basically like, uh, well, a couple of videos got covered. What was that game? <sighs> yeah, Rockade Stage 2, which I quite like. Um, and I mean, it's made by the same people who made that game, so you know. What was that in ATD, I think it was? I don't remember. And, well, <laughs> what can I say about this game? Well, it's a blatant Crash Bandicoot ripoff for starters, you know. And Crash Bandicoot, the, the original game, been out for what, like, I don't know, like, uh, well, it was 96, wasn't it? So, yeah, this has been out for, that game been out for, like, six years by the time this game came along, so, I think it might be, might be a bit late on the bandwagon, 
you know. Well, actually, I don't think the worm any. Bugger. I don't think... Okay, what the hell happened there? Okay, like, I tried to, like, spin jump into him, and then I just randomly fell off the stage. Like, I wasn't even holding left or anything, so that makes no sense. But yeah, it's basically just... Yeah, it's... Oh. Okay, apparently the enemies try to attack you in this one. Great. Of course, I don't make this clearly evident, but, you know. In fact, I see to remember Crash is actually easier than this. But maybe that's just because I'm used to playing that game. Ha! That's what you get. Well, I don't even know how many hit points you get. Do Dime one hit in this? Okay, how are you supposed to avoid getting hit by that thing? You're just supposed to, like, spin into it as soon as it, like, tries to attack you or something? Yeah, and I'll say, controls aren't quite as good. They don't feel as tight as Crash. And, well... Yeah, basically it's just a pale imitation of you know, Crash, really. And if you really want to play this game, just go play that one instead. You know, or you know, any of the games in the series. Hell, even the ones that aren't platformers. <laughs> I would say just go play them. So, like, like I'll spin... Okay, I'm sure when you spin attack and Crash, for the most part, you're supposed to be invincible. It's like, you try to spin attack and enemy in this game, if it attacks you, you get hit. Which is just stupid. But yeah. Maybe that's just B being a git. But it's like, yeah. I mean, granted, you get multiple hits in this game, but still. Yeah. And it's not really, it's not really clear whether there's like checkpoints or whatever. I mean, like, in supposed to be like pictures or something. I didn't see any. Yeah, whatever. Uh, this isn't really that good, to be honest. Oh, is that it? I hope it is. Who is skill the hell? Uh, yeah. Also, get the film that Bugs and Taz and Thomas. This is going to take a while to do. But, you know. Okay, what am I even supposed to do at this point? Am I just supposed to do... Okay. Do I just go here? Okay, I guess so. Yeah. So basically, I've got to fight this git. Oh. Yeah! Got the voodoo! The hell's with the music? Okay, how do you get the swing to turn around? Okay, it makes no sense. Okay, like... I have no idea how you're supposed to attack the swing to where again hit yourself. Doesn't really make any sense. But it's like, yeah. It just seems kind of random, like, as to what you're supposed to do. So, do I at least beat the demo? Or. Is that it? Okay, I'll pull. Fair enough. Can I skip through this? Yeah, I guess so. It seems to be going a bit faster than it's supposed to. Yeah, don't really care for that one. The firebugs, on the other hand, this one ought to be good, because. Oh. Don't knock out the thing by accident. I hope it still works. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Okay, five books. This one's actually quite good from what I remember. Uh, I don't think there's a timer on this demo, unlike Rollcade Stage 2. So I should be able to play a fun that's on here. I don't understand why there's two health... Two loading bars, sorry. It looks kind of weird. Kind of pointless as well, but you know. Ah, here we go. We've got the intro sequence. Okay. Oh, you. Okay.
Ooh. Yeah, five bugs. Let's do this mother. Assuming it works, of course, and doesn't just lock up. Ah, okay, here we go. So, can you actually play two play on this? I'm just gonna, yeah, okay, I can. Awesome. Uh, options, even though I'm not really gonna need to look at them anyway, because I know how this game works, because, you know, if you play Roll Cage, it pretty much plays the same. So, I've probably played Gizmo or Zero. Let's play this guy, why not? So, okay, well, connect with this. And we've got these two levels to play, so might as well play both of them. Because, well, because uh, this and, you know, Ludo and Stitch are basically the only games that I think are new to this demo, because the rest of them are just reused. Actually, I'm not entirely sure, because I'm guessing, I think maybe, I think this, uh, I'm guessing there was like another separate demo of this one, where, which was like different. Like, maybe had different tracks or something. But yeah. Like I said, if you've seen, or if you've, or be, if you've played Roll Cage, yeah, gameplay-wise, very similar. Um, it basically, it pretty much feels like the first game, but it's... It basically, it controls better. So, yeah. So, yeah. Might want to get... So, yeah. If I see a copy of this for cheap, I think I will get it, actually. Okay. So, ooh. oh wait, no. The problem is I can't remember what the pills do, because I mean, Roll Cage basically used icons that basically so sort of get so sort of gave like a representation of what the thing does. But it's like this game is just well, <laughs> you guess as good as mine as to what, as to what these pills even do. Yeah, you can do this. I mean, you can do this in stage two. I just didn't bother to on that one. Oh, forget. Oh, okay, perfect lap. How do you do perfect laps? That's just like where you don't crash or whatever. Oh, bugger. Now I'm just going to lose really badly at this point. <sighs> Not like it matters because I've won the... Am my car seriously damaged? Or, oh. Okay, no, it seems to be working now. I'm guessing this is a missile, or something like that. Okay, there's, well, there's five laps in this one, isn't there? So, maybe I can cover. But, uh, well, the other guy seems to be a fair bit in front, actually. Ooh, well, I can't really put my hands up when I'm playing the game, can I? Ah, okay, so the blue one is the speed boost, fair enough. Oh, bugger. Maybe if I go, maybe if I go on the ceiling, they might miss. <laughs> yeah, you missed. Oh, bugger. This. Oh. No, stop going the wrong way. I want to go the right way, which is not this, which is not the way you were trying to go. So I think about roll cage. It was way too easy to do that. To accidentally go in the wrong way. I think that's the problem I had with it. Was that the controls were a bit loose. They fixed that in the second game, at least. So, I think I hit that guy. Is that, is that the shield, the red one? No, I, I don't know what this one is. I, mean, I can't tell if I activated that, to be honest, because I know AI can do that. But I won, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, first place. And yeah, I think this was made after uh, well, after Psychnosis stopped existing, so you know. This is basically, you know, roll cage minus the owl. Oh, okay. Does it end at this point, or so I kind of want to see what the? Cause I want, I kind of want to play the other track. Ah, okay. It doesn't end at this point. Thank. Oh, do I restart the race by accident? <laughs> no, I don't want to restart this track. I want to play the other one. Oh, okay. Here they actually tell you tell you the controls, but. Like I said, I already know how controls work, and yeah, I think, yeah, this is the one I played before, isn't it? Yeah, quit that, because I wanted to look at the other track, because, you know, I could play two tracks in this, so may as well have a look at the other one at least. Okay, back. Ah, 
Here we go. So let's see if I can win this as well. Oh, okay, is it rear view in this? Did not realize. Not like it really matters, because it's not like you really need it with this game. Unless, oh no, maybe there's a way to dodge the missiles? I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Okay, well, I need, I need to practice the timing on getting the speed boost at the start. I mean, I'm sure you can do it in this. I mean, you could do it in the, in the roll cage game soon. Ha! Take that. I will be in first in no time. As soon as I get to a straightaway. Oh, you bugger. Yeah, but, but as far as I say, way better than the Lilo and Stitch game. <laughs> I mean, probably, maybe it's just because I like racing games. But, you know. What the hell's going on? Why is my controls suddenly suck? Why can't I... Oh. I think it was like the other guy who did that. Why am I getting hit constantly now? Because I swear the last time... I swear I played this before and it... I managed to do... Ooh. Okay. Did I suddenly get warped forward or something? Is that what the weapon did? I'm guessing. Oh, you bugger. No! I'm not, I'm not getting hit by your missiles. Whatever. Or your, your gun, you know. Okay. I'm gonna... Ooh. Sorry, I better activate this thing and see if I can... Just see if I can at least try to dodge the missile. Maybe if I... Yeah. Okay, I dodged it. Awesome. Uh, yeah, again. Go oh. So these missiles, they're like... They kind of remind me of the spiny shells from Mario Kart, but... They're not quite as annoying, at least. No, stop shooting me! This is... Uh. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming it just goes to the person in first. Much like the spawn show. Oh, bugger. Aha! I have the shield! You... oh. No. Okay. Yeah, you cannot defeat the shield. Okay. Final lap, I think. Yeah. Speed boost! Oh. Oh, bugger, no. <laughs> okay. Time to fight the shield again. Ha! I am impenetrable. And impregnable. And I win again. Awesome. Oh, yes. So, uh, well, I beat the demo, I guess, because I don't think there's anything else you can do apart from, I guess, play as the other guy. The robot thing. So I think I'm just going to end it at this point. So let's see what other games we've got, because I don't remember most of them. <laughs> because my memory is appalling. But yeah. Uh, so I think there's so like 25 tracks in this game. Kind of. I'll be honest, 25 tracks compared to Roll Cage 2 kind of sucks, to be honest. But yeah. Uh, but you know. If I can get it for cheap, then it'll be worth it. Uh, bomb from Kim C's. I'm sure I've heard one or two of their songs on the radio back in 2002, but, you know, I don't remember. <laughs> Carry on with a freestyler. Did they make that song? I don't remember. I think that might have been someone else, but I can't remember who it was. Anyway, let's have a look at the other games. Starting off with oh, Winter's Inc. Yeah, I've played this one. This one is terrible. <laughs> As you will see. Because basically, to be honest, I don't think I'm even going to bother playing through this one because it. I seem to remember it takes a bit to do. Like, it takes a. I don't know. But I think it takes about 15 minutes, which is around about 10 minutes more than I'm willing to play of this garbage. Yep, it's another Disney game. I mean, to be honest, I think the only really good Disney game, at least that I've played, is Hercules. Maybe there's one or two other good ones, but, you know. I don't count Toy Story 2, because that's Pixar, so, you know. You know, let's start this. ATM. Brilliant. Uh, there's any movie scenes, I'm just going to skip them. Yeah. No, I want to skip it. Ah, here we go. I will start. 
and you probably skip them with the other game. I don't understand why they would even bother including this, because, I mean, granted the game's from 2002, but you think they could at least include, like, a decent game from 2002? I mean, granted, there weren't many, but I know they existed, at least. I mean, like, I don't know, Delta Force Urban Warfare or something? I mean, that was a good game, so... I don't know. These graphics, like, could... I mean, they look like the characters from the film, but at the same time, they look kind of wrong. Um, I have not seen Munster's University. I don't know if it's any good, if it's really worth watching. I mean, I watched the original film back when, back in, like, 2001. But, you know. Mm. <laughs> they could just send all the scare cam up here so this place that fit in well. <laughs> oh yes. Fifteen. I don't want to play fifteen trials. I'd rather just play the one and be done with it. <laughs> and I have played this before, so I know this one's not very good. I have not played the full game. Incidentally, I do not have it, and I'm never going to get it unless I don't know someone sends me for whatever crazy reason. So we could play Sully or Mike. Let's just play Sully or not. Anthony Sullivan here. Sorry. <laughs> I can't even do his voice. I mean, supposedly he's British, but he sounds more Australian to me. It sounds weird. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Go. Oh, I don't. I don't see why they even need a tutorial for this. Like, I mean, when when you play like on a, you know, Crash Bandicoot or anything. And I do say Crash in particular because I'm pretty sure this game is basically a rip off of it. Like you, you got the spin attack. I mean, there are some. This one at least tries to do a few things different, but you know. As you can see, did that easily. The next load is too high. Yeah, I don't remember what to do. I was, I didn't bother reading it, but yeah. Yeah, you just climb up the thing. Yeah, that. So amazing that took me like five seconds to figure out if that. <laughs> I mean. I understand this game was for kids, but, me, but like I said, you know, I'm Crash Bandicoot, made for kids, but you didn't really need a tutorial for it. Okay, you could just, okay, you just switch the game on and figure it out yourself. I think that's the problem, they just, they, they just think the people who play this are idiots, pretty much. Like, oh, we can't work out how to do basic attacks, you know. Just, I mean, I understand having it as an option, but, you know, having it... In, Okay, like having an unskippable tutorial, like, who, who do they think I am, DSP? <laughs> yeah, right. Even I'm not that much of an idiot. <laughs> okay, so eat that. Okay, whatever. Yeah, you're going to show life. Yeah, I'm probably just going to quit, like, halfway through this, because this game isn't really worth playing through the whole thing. I mean, that's the thing. If a game really sucks, then chances are I'm just going to skip it. Unless it's, like, really short, you know. Yeah, sort that. I'm not going to bother reading the stuff, because I'd rather just figure it out myself. Ooh, you can't go to the next bit until you've done this. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. You press... You have to do that... Yeah, you have to do that like in Crash. Yeah. Except instead of... Didn't you press circle in that game to do it? I mean, this game you press square, so. Which I guess kind of makes sense, to be fair, but still. At the same time, why wouldn't I just play that game instead? It's just. I mean, it's pretty sad when you have these games that were made, like, early in the PlayStation's lifespan that. As, that, in every way, still managed to be, you know, way better than all this other stuff that comes out at the end of the PlayStation's life. I mean, 
I mean, there are a handful of good games from like 2002, 2003. Um, I mean, but most of them are just like, you know, games published by Midas that were originally like obscure Japanese things. Because they publish a lot of good games, actually. And this is it. You know. Just, uh, yeah, mash the circle button, then press X. And that's pretty much it. Eventually you have to do more stuff later on, but... Let me tell you, no, let me tell you right now, you're pretty much seeing the entire game at this point. Or at least, the entirety of this level. Like I said, I don't have the full game, and I'm not going to get it. If I do end up getting it, I'm probably just going to sell off to the pawn shop or something. Because, uh... <laughs> Why would I bother in this? Kind of pointless, really. And, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, very scary. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Mind you, not very well made robots, considering they just have like springs coming out of them. Afterwards, but you know. And guess what? There's like, there's like three or four of them in this room. So I think after this room, I'm probably just gonna quit. Cause honestly, there is there is seriously nothing to show after this point. This is the entire game right here, and I mean, you know, if the game is repetitive, I mean, if it's fun, then fair enough. If it's repetitive, then it doesn't really matter. If the game is fun, let me tell you right now, this is not fun. This is just you walk around with basically. You know, with no effort, because there's nothing to really stop you. Ooh, sod you. And basically, yeah, this is it. Just... I mean, I understand. Okay, granted, most games based on movies suck anyway, but, you know. You think that would at least make it a little bit more... You think that would at least make a bit of an effort to sort of vary up the gameplay a little bit. Come here, play right now. Yeah. Not that good. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna do this one and then be done with it. Cause in fact I'm actually gonna show the next room just to show you that this game does not get any better. Or at least in this level it doesn't get any better. Yeah. I mean you don't even have to mash the button, you can just press it. Oh, well I suppose you do have to mash the button, but it's like I mean, is the game really worth the effort? No. This <laughs> is you know. I mean I don't even like supposedly good I mean Honestly, I don't even like supposedly good games that where the basically the whole thing is just mashing buttons. I mean, Track and Field. Yeah, I played that game and I just didn't like it. It just it was just meh. You know, this is a game where you do nothing but mash buttons and you know. Sorry, I'm not gonna do that bit because frankly, the game's not worth it because it sucks. Anyway, but yeah, I mean, it's like I played Track and Field and I was like, why do people like this game? Why do they just want to play a game where all it's going to do is give them arthritis and that's it? Anyway, ISS Pro Evolution 2. Great football game. Because, you know, these are always classics, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell you right now, I've played ISS 98 and I hated that game. I thought it was terrible. Um, like I said, I'm not a fan of football games anyway, so, you know. Something tells me, not really going to care for this one. BSK set. Or whatever. Let's play this anyway. Yeah. As you can see, they have made 2001, so you can tell they reused this from an old one. See, uh, why even have these options if you can't even pick them? This is, if you can only pick one, why even bother? And of course, I don't even tell you which teams are which. So it's like, I don't know. You know what? <laughs> Let's have a lot of computers with home team. So, let's see, I could play as. Okay, so I could play as England, Spain, France, Italy, Germany, and Sweden. Uh, well, I'm going to pick England. England against Germany, why not? <laughs> uh, does anyone really care about this? CPU level normal or not? Because you know, if I lose, I'm easy. It's just gonna look embarrassing. Oh, can I seriously pick a stadium? Let's go for this one because it's got like an Olympic track around it. Please wait, I will do. Okay, uh, controller setting, please. I want. Of course, it doesn't let you look at the controller. That's brilliant. Actually, no. Okay. Oh. 
I want that manual, because if, that, if that's what I think it is, I want it to be manual, so I want to be able to switch the players myself. But I mean, there's a reason that football games nowadays go for bugger all, and that's because they're just, you know, th there's very few that are actually worth playing. Pretty much. I mean, Nintendo World Cup, I'll definitely say go and play that game. The rest of them that I've played, meh. <laughs> Apart from Ultimate League, so sorry, Ultimate Soccer, that was it. That one was decent. That's it, really. You know, the rest of them, couldn't give a toss about them. Ooh, wait, can we skip this? No, I want to play the game already. We have all this guff at the start. Uh, Ah, here we go. So I'm assuming this... Oh, okay. Oh, ah, okay, I see, yeah. So, some of the computer players, players themselves. Okay, so, ooh, no! It's probably just as well that I decided to play as a computer. <laughs> Can I just tackle the... Right, okay, apparently my teammates suck, because... I mean, I can only play... I mean, the guy I'm playing, that's just... Oh, okay, no Ian's playing this bit. I'm just chasing after the ball pretty much. I don't even know. How, oh, okay. Apparently, circle is slow tackle, but it's like, what was I even supposed to do there? Okay. Apparently, no. I, I don't. I'm gonna skip that. I hate when games have those stupid replay things. Like, cause who really wants to watch them? Okay. Unless it was like a particular good goal on you, and you scored it. Okay. You do not want to look at replay. I don't care who you are. Okay. Like, what is even the point? It's stupid. And of course now I'm just running after the ball. And the computer isn't... Oh, I mean most of the time it doesn't even try to get the ball off them. As you can see. So now... So, how do I... Okay, so apparently the square button shoots. I mean, they don't even tell you how to control the game at the start. So it's like... I'm just taking a wild guess as to which buttons do which. It's like, how am I even supposed to know what the controls do? If they don't even tell you at the beginning. And it's not like every single game... It's not like there's a real standard football game as far as I'm aware. Um, I mean, even though this game is from 2001. But, you know, it's like... Yeah, I mean... Like I said, I don't, I don't really like these games anyway. But, you know... I might as well at least get over here. So... I mean, I'd rather at least play in defense. Because at least that way, you know, maybe I'll be able to get the ball. I was doing slide very far. Yeah, actually no, no, sort this, this game sucked. I, yeah, like I said, don't like football games, never will, because they, like I said, I mean, like I said in the previous video, they're just boring as hell, for the most part. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, also known as Tony Hawk's Skateboarding for some reason, I don't know why they renamed it in Europe, it seems kind of pointless that they did that, but this game is actually quite good, even though I don't like it as much as the sequels. You know, well, or at least the ones up to uh, Tony Hawk's Underground, anyway. Tony Hawk's Underground 2 wasn't really very good, but, you know. I mean, the, the gameplay was, you know, it played solidly, but it wasn't really that good compared to the previous ones. So, you know, uh, skip all this. Oh, wait, what? So, it's a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 on the menu, and here it says Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Okay, I don't get that. Uh, single set, ooh. Can I actually play, can I actually use the parkour tool on this? I might do that after I've played this single session. Actually, I want to have a look at that, and I'm guessing I can only play as... Let's just play Stone Park, why not? Possibly the most influential skateboarder of all time. So I'm guessing I'll go play Marseille. Yeah. Okay, wasn't this one of the competition levels, I think? Ooh, okay, apparently... <laughs> okay, apparently you can, uh, you can apparently win a contest even though it expired in 2000 so you know ah here we go yeah this game actually quite good it's been a while since I've really played oh yeah probably should play this with a d-pad really that's how I usually play it no I'm just, I know you could do manuals in the second game I played it ah here we go Why isn't he doing man? Why isn't he doing the manual? I know how to do the manual in this game. There we go. Okay. Okay. 
Nolly, thank you. Okay. Well, there's no, there's no uh, bar to tell you this, like in the later games. But you know. Aha! Oh, bugger. <laughs> Isn't there a way to get quicker in this one? Or didn't they don't introduce that until the ones after this? I don't remember. Because the thing is, I didn't really have the second game as a kid. Like, I had the first game, I had the third game. I had, you know, I had basically all the ones up to Underground 2 apart from this one for some reason. I don't know. I think it was because, you know, we got the uh, PlayStation 2. We were like, you know, might as well just wait for the third game, really. Okay. Ooh. It seems harder to do the manual in this one, though, as compared to the later games. I could pull off. I mean, I could pull off flawlessly in those in those ones. This one. Are you seriously not do any tricks with the manual in this one? I'll tell you that as a no, because I was mashing the buttons there and uh, wasn't doing it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I used to be a lot better at this game actually, but you know. I won't do the manual at the end there, but did I at least get the highest score? Okay. Oh, apparently forty thousand. <laughs> nah, stop that. Okay, just enter this again like I always do. Uh, quit. Because I want to. Hopefully, it doesn't quit to the menu. Because I want to. <sighs> I want to play the friggin' skate park mode. Well. Oh, okay, no. Okay, it does stay here. Okay, good. So I wanna have I wanna see how much you can do here, because I wasn't expecting them to allow you to do this actually. Uh so let's see what we can do here. Okay, ooh, miscellaneous. Are you serious to get loads of pieces or whatever? Low rolling, high rolling, low rolling wood. Actually let me let me see if I can do something here. High rolling wood, please. It's not as customizable as the ones that you get in the later games, really, but you know. At least, I don't think it is. Uh, yeah, because I'm sure you could, like, move them, like, up or whatever in the late ones, but, uh, I don't think you can do that in this one. Unless I'm missing some with controls, because I, I'm. I'll mostly just do it on like Pro Skate 4, so. Hmm. Oh, I do. Actually, no. You know what? I understand this is probably going to be really boring to watch, but I just want to have a quick go at this. Okay, let me do. Let me do high quad, please. High corner. Rotate pieces. Actually, not sod it. Let's just just put random stuff all over the place. Uh, ooh. No. Let's see if I can do this here. Low angle. Oh. No. That's not it. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I can't even be bothered. Let's just have a quick play on this for no reason. I mean, I probably should have just quit this already, but you know. Oh no, I like playing Rainbow level editors in games, really. And, uh, this one's actually surprisingly extensive for a demo, I have to say. It doesn't time out either, which is also nice. Let's see. Uh, when it loads, of course. Hopefully, it didn't crash. Actually, I seem to remember this does take a while to load when you actually do this in the full version, so... Don't know what I was expecting, but let's see. See if we could at least do some kind of a... I don't know, combo, I guess. Maybe a half-decent one. I suppose it's a lot easier to do combos than the ones after this. I mean, like, you play, like, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, you do combos like mad if you know what you're doing in that one. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, oh. now nah, I think it has crashed actually. Oh no! Okay, well I think I'm just gonna have to reset at this point. So, 
But all in all, I'll reset, and then I'll move on to the next game, which I do not remember. But you know what? We get to see this screen again. Which is nice. Oh yes. Presented by Pavlik. Oh wait. No, that's not what it says. I think I need to go to Specsavers. Oh yes. Yeah, the preview levels, blah blah blah. Anyway, let us play some more of this. Pill line. Brilliant. Uh show us again. I'd say one thing, I really like the background of the half of this. So yeah, that was okay, that was not Tony Ox Pro Skater. Everybody's golf. Okay, I gotta press the start and set to quit. Fair enough. Probably not gonna play this one very long anyway, because it's golf and you know, golf is I mean, it, it seems like the sort of game where, if you're playing it in real life, it might actually be quite good, but, you know, playing a video game version, not really so much. <laughs> yeah. Sony Presents. Brilliant. Oh. Oh. It didn't say if Royce Golf 1 on the menu. Why is it with this game and forgetting... Why is it with this demo and forgetting to put numbers on the end of game titles? Stroke. Whatever. Uh, Mel... Chip. Let's pick this guy just because it looks weird. Yeah, let's play that one. Why not? So I'm guessing you just press. I'm guessing it's like you press a button. I'm guessing it's like you press X twice. The, the hell is it with the background? It, you reminds me. You reminds me of the Truman Show, where, where it's like, uh, if you remember that film, yeah, you know, if you've watched that film, and it's like at the end of the film, uh, it will look. Ooh, okay. You said Camel R2. Okay. Aha! I think I did it. Nice. But yeah, it really reminds me of the Truman Show where, on that bit towards the end where, you know, Truman ends up hitting, like, the edge of the studio or whatever. And it was weird and stuff. Okay, 100. And, oh. Don't go full power on this. Oh! Okay, did it go further when that happens? I hope not. Okay. Yeah! Might actually be able to do pretty good on this one. Oh, okay. Ha <laughs> Yeah, so far this has already been that football game from earlier. Uh, okay, how hard do I have to hit this? I don't know. Let's go for that. Why not? Because some games, like, you go really slowly, unless you hit it, like, really hard. And there's other games where you, know, you hit it slightly and it just goes flying. Okay. So, I've got par thing? Yeah. Okay, that guy looks weird. Okay, I'm just gonna say it right now. It's like, I know he's supposed to be like cartoony, but still. So, what par is the next hole? Seem not get to play it. Okay, par 4 again. Okay, well, this does look to be a different hole to the first one. Boom! Actually, this isn't a bad game, to be honest. It's kind of funny, is I remember seeing a copy of this for sale at a shop I went to recently. And the cover art kind of amused me. I'm probably, I might put a link to it in the description, actually, just because it... But, uh, the first game, not the second one. Uh, was 154. Let's go for it. No, I want to put this one. Oh, yes. See if I can get this in to. Well, obviously, I'm not going to because that'd be ridiculous. Oh, I didn't even make it to the green. That go on, sucked. 11 yards. Uh, okay, sandwich, I guess. Okay, how many yards does this go for? 30. Oh, ooh. okay. Oh, did it go in? Oh. Yeah, this one might be boring to watch, but you're not. It's actually isn't too bad so far. Uh, I think I might not have hit that barrel far enough, actually. Yeah. Oh well. I like a, it's not like I'm going to play all 18 holes anyway, so who really cares? Yeah, there we go. That was weak. I sod you. <laughs> you get to play. Hole number three. 
kind of redeem myself for this next one. Oh god, water hazard, this is not looking good. Oh, what's... Oh, did it end? <sighs> oh, well, we're not going to let you play for more than two minutes, so it's brilliant. Well, actually, the game doesn't... I mean, the game seems to be alright, though, to be fair. I will say that. But it's like, yeah. Always annoys me when they have, like, invisible time limits on demos. It's like, if you go put a time limit, at least make it evident that you're going to do that. Hey, okay, Crash Team Racing. Oh, yes. I did mention this game in... Yeah, it was the last video, wasn't it? I was doing that Smurfs racing thing. And this game is quite good, actually. Although... I don't think I've really played this one much in a while, so, you know. I think I played the demo for a bit, and that was about it. So, yeah. So, you can Tim Europe Presents. Uh, yeah. So, as you can see, pretty much one of the... Well, I'd say pretty much one of the few Kart, Mario Kart racing style games that really you might want to get. I said, this sound effect really reminds me of Gran Turismo. But, uh, let's just go. Yeah, I should point out, by the way, picking each of these picks, like, a different track. Um, I'm probably going to play this several times over the course of this series, so I'm probably... So, for now, I'm just going to pick one player. If I come across it again, I'm just going to pick, you know, the different tracks or whatever. Because picking two player gives you a different track to this one. So, that power slide and... The home, the air, or the... the yeah. So, it's loading, I think. Okay, here we go. So let's do this. So I'm, yeah, I'm playing this crash. Okay, so I forget, is there a way to get a boost at the beginning? I do not remember. Aha! Speed boost! Oh, oh yeah, that's right. You can go a bit. Ooh, bugger. <laughs> oh no! But again, to fall in the pits like a million times on like this one. Oh. I swear that those prawn plant things, they look just like the, uh... They kind of look like the chain chomps from Mario 64. To me. Aha! Yeah. I know there's a shortcut here, but I'm... But I tend to mess up on it a lot of times, so I'm just going to go this way instead. Aha! I have it again! That's right, you got break to really make that turn. And I'm not going to run into that TNT box. Because I'm not that terrible at this game. <laughs> See if I can salvage this. Oh, you... Oh, oh yeah, that's right, I was invincible. Fair enough. You cannot... You cannot stop me. TNT box is all over the place. What does a boy to do? Oh, no, I'm not falling off. That's what cost, that's what cost me earlier. Oh, okay. Picked a bad place to drop that, I think. I'm trying to see if I could drop it on like, the edge of the thing, but apparently not. Okay, missiles. Yeah, eat that. It's a cortex, I think. I think. I know you can get apples, but yeah, sod it. Oh, we need to learn to take these corners a lot better. Now, it's this one that has the speed boost. I don't think I'm going to win this one anyway. I mean, you look how far ahead the other three players are. Someone tells me I'm not going to win this. But you know. It's all about winning, it's about demoing. I have the need for speed! That's right. It's really good for uh, it's not the it's not the, the red shell from Mario Kart, but it's not very good at hitting enemies that far away. So can we just finish in fourth? Yeah, there we go. Could have done better real life, but you know, whatever. Uh, really, I mean, really, I should get the full version of this again, but you know. Oh, okay. Is it going to end eventually? Presumably, or yeah, you know, just quit out of it. Um, yeah, because like I said, if I, you know, I'm gonna play the other tracks while I come across this game again, 
you know. And I know I've got at least one other demo that has it. I think it was number... Was it number 53, I think it was? Books and Tales Time Busters. This one's going to take a while. I'll tell you this right now, because I, I used to have this game as a kid, and I remember the demo version took a while to play through. And I used to own this game as well. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent game, for what I remember. Then, the Looney Tunes games tended to be quite good on PlayStation. So, you know. It's not like it's a real surprise. Let's see what we got. Unless it's about to be B. These people. Actually, I forget. Is this the last game on here? Or was it like another one or two after this? I can't remember. But this one's going to take a while anyway, so really who cares? Like I said. Oh. He's just going to sit there. So I remember this. You got plays your books and tasks, and you have, you have certain ones to do certain things, pretty much. Certain tasks or whatever. Like, I think bugs can jump higher and dig underground, and Taz is, like, stronger, I think. And he can, like, spin. Yes, Greenwich. So let's do this. Alright, I think you press R1. No. Uh, yeah, L1, that was it. The other player just kind of respawns. And yeah, you get Tweety constantly telling you to get where he is. Time for a bath. Oh, for a second I thought it was supposed to be like a pawn, but yeah. Okay, you must know how to dive. Well, I've played Tomb Raider before, so I think I know how to do this. <laughs> yeah. Hard to turn, excellent. Even though it has nothing to do with this game, but you know. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go for the tutorial anyway, even though I can't know what I'm doing with this one. So, where's Tweety? So, I don't know where he is. Okay, no, I think you get to all this stuff later on. Okay, that's not it, because that's. No, that's, that's like access to one of the levels, isn't it? I do not remember where you're supposed to go next. Is it this bit, maybe? Yeah. No. Well, I do remember what you're supposed to hear. You're supposed to, like, sneak somehow. Yeah, that was it. Circle button. I do kind of wish there was, like, a sound effect when you're walking. Actually, no, I think there was, wasn't there? Like in a little big adventure. If you remember that game. I'll play that. Okay, for bugs. You must use your ear cough to ability to land soft and yeah. So yes, got to play as bugs with this one because I mean Taz can't really do this. Oh, oh that's right. I forgot you. I forgot you can walk off the edge on, on this game when you're sneaking. So it's just I'm getting confused with Tomb Raider because it's like you know you walk slowly in that game you don't automatically you she like automatically doesn't walk off like this way. Oh well you got. To Oh, and I let go of the circle from Baxton. It's not going very well so far. I get the phone, I should probably do better on this. So I just, I just that sound effect when you sort of walk towards the dog. But yeah, it's not playing anymore, which kind of sucks. But I know there's a coin up here, that you can see right there. Let's climb up the swing. I like how he doesn't wake up from that, and yeah, he wakes up from you, like, going with the circle button, pretty much. Over here. Come over here. Okay. Okay. Find a rep hole and dive into it. Well, hole is obstructed. Use Taz to get open. Oh. Okay. Uh, how do I... Oh. Sorry, if I, I keep thinking of pressing X, would we'll, like, go to the next bit. Ah, there we go. Now you can move in all directions. Okay. Any more we need? Yeah, triangle. That's it. I remember this, because this guy go around find stuff. Do what? Oh, you're supposed to go into here, I think? Yeah. Where are you supposed to 
No. I'm not sure where this is supposed to lead to anyway. Uh. Well, let's just do that. Oh, I think you're supposed to do this on here. Yeah. Uh. Turn around, please. So I know where to jump out. Aha. And then I can get the coin. Nice. So I think I'm get. I think to. I think in the demo, what you're supposed to do is get the coins. I think. Presumably. Oh, that's right. You press a. Uh, yeah. All R2 and L2 to uh, center the camera, pretty much. Oh yeah. Or go in this first person mode. Which you can't really do much in. Uh, no. Well, text. Taz. This one here. I'm not even going to bother the tutorial for this one because it's pretty simple. Uh, I can't know what I'm doing here, so yeah. Let's see up there. Push the big box. I like big box and I cannot lie. Yeah, just do that. Why not? Wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. Triangle button to pick it up. Throw it with a square button, although there's really not much point. <laughs> no, I do not need your help for this one. Because I remember this. I like that. Just go over here. It's like, it's just constantly as well. I mean, you might as well just have Scorpion there. <laughs> see. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, you got to place it just right before it falls off. Okay. I place books to get the coins. I don't think you can get the coin as Taz. At least not. Yeah, which one this? Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, now Toidy disappeared. Oh yeah, this part. Yeah. I remember this. This guy takes the coin and you're supposed to feed him somehow. I don't quite remember. Jump on his head and then kick him. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so, f do you have to play as books for this part? I do not remember. So, I think you can do this as Taz, but I might be wrong on that. Oh, anyone? Yeah, there we go. Coin obtained. Oh, yeah, and this guy shows up. I like how it's randomly spawns. I mean, it looks like the graphics themselves are quite good for a PS1. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, so you know, let's place Taz for this bit. Cause I'm sure you can place Taz for this. Am I wrong? Is, do, isn't he faster? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so you can place Taz for this. So I feel as though I'm not really playing Zoom enough. We go. Might as well at least give him an opportunity to do stuff. There we go. Might as well at least let him get a coin. Looney Tunes in 3D. Well, it's still better than Space Jam. <laughs> I mean, hell, I think the dialogue's better, and it's not even there at all. It just pretty much tells you all you need to know about that film. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, find a special living box and break it. Oh, yeah. So let's see. Where do we go now? Is it up here? I think. Oh, well, there's a coin up here, so I might as well. Over here. Come over here. Let's see. I'd imagine DSP would still be stuck on that first bit if he was playing it. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, climb. Well, I did that before anyway, so. Pretty simple, really. Oh. Well, at least it would be if I knew where I was jumping. And it's going to be bumping. City of Compton is where it takes place. Oh, yes. There we go. I'm not sure how many coins there are, actually. I'm guessing there's, like, on a, a dozen, maybe. To go over here, actually. Yeah, because there's a coin over here. Over here. Come over here. Yeah. Twitter gets a bit annoying after a while. <laughs> See where Sylvester wanted to catch him. But you know. Uh, just jump and hang to ledges. Well, again, I've played Tomb Raider, so I know what I'm doing. 
Except, of course, in this game we are told in the X button to uh, hang on ledges, or climb, or whatever. Excellent. Wait, no, that was a wrong show. Oh! Oh, okay, I didn't realize. So, I didn't realize until that you can actually control Taz with the uh, second control stick. That was interesting. Oh, bugger. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can do that. <laughs> Mallet. Nope, no, I didn't want to drop it. Am I supposed to hit this target thing? Maybe. Oh, okay, I didn't pick it up, I don't think. Okay. So, oh, okay, if you leave that bit, it sort of disappears for some reason. I guess you're only supposed to use it in this bit. The way. Boom! Oh, actually, I want to go up here. So I see. Oh, actually, I saw it. It's just a carrot. I was looking like there was coin up there. Then, yeah. Oh. Actually, I'm not sure. Can you play an actual level of this? Or is it just the whole world? I'm not sure. So where do we go now? Or is this it? I'm not sure. So I'm sure. Isn't there a coin over here? Or am I remembering wrong? Is this literally just carrots? Okay. Well, there's that one there. So I forget what disc this appeared on originally. I think this was number 67, I think. Some, something like that. I think it's like, isn't it like mini games or something like that? I think. I do not remember. Yeah, nothing of interest there, so yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, actually, how many carrots do we have? Uh, I don't know how to check, actually. Let's go over here. Oh, probably not. I think this is one of the worlds, isn't it? Okay. Oh, yes. And yeah, you see, I'm sure Taz can run books in this game. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. You have to go over here, actually. I'm not really sure what you can do apart from what I've done already. Oh, wait, no, I did that by accident. Uh, didn't mean. Oh. So let me do something now. Does this work? Let's try this. Nah, it doesn't work. Uh, okay. So I was hoping you could use, like, Taz to do something there, but apparently not. Okay, Haunted House. Okay, not available on the demo. Okay. Uh, well, let's just play the rest of them then. Some. Yeah. Unless, that's, unless that little message comes up, I'm assuming I can just play it. I think, because I'm sure you can play some of the mini games in this actually. Uh, okay, I don't think you can go to that one, so let's just go to. Oh, you can go to this one, can't you? I think. Okay, so then we will end, well, we're not going to end here, I don't think that, yeah, because I mean we can go in here, and there's no another area we can go into, I think. The polluted game, let's see. 
Uh, yes, play. Why not? Uh, this play's Taz. Yes, I would like to know the rules. First team to score five points wins. Run towards the ball. Let's pick it up. Uh, okay. So basically, run around, press square every now and then. Fair enough. Uh, I think I might be able to get this one. I will get ready to play. I do wonder if you if can play this on like two player. Oh, and I've got the, I've got the ball. Okay, let's shoot. Yes, awesome. Yeah, I get the film. This one isn't very difficult. <laughs> okay, oh, I have the ball again. Yeah. Shoot. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. No. I need the ball. I am the Tasmanian Devil, and you cannot stop me. Yeah, anyone remember the show? <laughs> oh, no, oh, here you get the ball. I want the ball. Have I seriously bugged the game out? <laughs> no, I want the ball, and I can't get it. And this guy is getting in my way. Yeah, something tells me I'd have, I think I'm stuck, because... I don't think it's supposed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm probably going to have to quit this point because it's not really working. Yeah, but well, I'll just quit entirely because I'm starting to drag on a bit, to be honest. I mean, the game is alright, actually. I do kind of want to get the full version again. Um, but, you know. I mean, there, I can tell you right now, there are certainly far worse platformers on the PlayStation. For example, the Lone Stitch and Monsters Inc., as you have already seen. Uh, ooh, Team Raider 4. I've never actually played this one. I've only ever played the first three games, so I do wonder what this is like. So, I know this is the last revelation. Um, I've played the first three games, so, you know, I, yeah, if it plays like those, I will know what to do. i going to switch off the analog controls of this one, because... I remember Team Raider 3 had analog controls and I didn't really like them, so I just played them like I played the first two, really. Let's see what this is like. Uh, okay, that's Revolution. New game, please. Let's see what this is like. <sighs> well, actually, no, there was another Team Raider, wasn't there? Was it Team Raider Chronicles, I think it was? Okay, so yes, Lord Croft is back. Oh, can I beat up this? Oh, can I beat up this thing? No, it's not. But actually, I suppose I need to jump pistols for that anyway. Okay, I can destroy it. Awesome. Oh, no! Okay, I don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I haven't played this one before. Uh, yeah, I see you. I will shoot you. Oh, skeletons can jump, but white men cannot. Oh, bugger. I don't want to die on the first area. That would suck. I seriously got to use a different weapon to defeat these things. I saw it. Oh, I have a fair few weapons actually. It's good for impressing the site doesn't quit the demo, because that's what I pressed to get here. Because I figured, you know, the other. Team Raider games have demos and you don't press select to quit them. Are they seriously have. What the hell am I supposed to do? You're not sod it. If I cannot defeat you, I'm just gonna run away. You know. Uh. Jump! Ha! I know they could jump over here, but still. Okay, how are you even supposed to defeat these things? Because. As far as I'm aware, okay, you can't kill them with the guns. Is the game crashed? Or. Okay, I. What the hell? I just selected the pistols and the game crashed. <sighs> Brilliant. Uh, should I do that one again? See, I really need to think myself some rules for this series. Like, should I, pl should I start the game again? Or. I don't know. Um. So I can't know what to expect from a Team Raider game. At least a good Team Raider game. And I don't think... Well, I mean, the, you got the 
skeletons that seem to be invincible, but apart from that, it seems to be much like the previous games, really. Uh, and, well, we're over an hour at this point anyway, so we might just move on to uh, the rest of the things that are on this disc, which we'll see when we get to them. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Uh, Trash Planet video. I have not played Treasure Planet, so I don't know if this is any good. I think this is based on a. F I think this is based on a movie. I've not watched the movie, so I can't really give my opinion on that. Let's see. Oh, is it even working? <sighs> oh, great! Oh. That screen again, because yeah, it really gives me hope that does. When I see that screen, considering that yeah, the other two games in the other views, that screen sucked. But, yeah. Okay, well, it's better than those two games at least, kind of. Uh, so you get around and you beat people. Okay. Okay. So basically, it's you go around and you do random things. You can write stuff and other things out of it. Understand what to make of this video. I'm sure there's a playable demo of this one actually. Uh, I think I have it on 93, I think it was. Actually, what are the other, what demos were the other games on actually? Because I'm looking. Um, Monsters Inc. was on 81. I know this because I have it, unfortunately. Uh, Crash Team Racing was on 53, I believe. ISIS Pro Evolution 2 was on. Well, I don't think I have it, but I think it was like 73 or something like that. Tony Exposed Go 2 had to have been like 60 something, I'm not sure which. Team Raider Last Revelation, I think, was like 52 or 53. And Everybody's Golf 2, I think, was 58, so, you know. All of those games have been reused, although I probably didn't need to tell you that. Uh, then Stage Your Mix Poly. I hope this is a video so I don't have to play it, because I'm going to say this right now, I'm not really a fan of DDR games. Like, the only one really that interests me at all is Prepper the Rapper, because of how weird that game is. But not because of the gameplay, but just because we're with the game solvers. Okay, I think this is a video, thankfully. Because I don't really want to play this one. It's kind of sad as I actually have Dance and Stage Euromix, so I've got it with some other games. I have not bothered to play it because, you know, I've had better games to play. <laughs> Including Sensible Soccer, and that game sucked. Is this seriously somebody's watching me by Rock Well? Like a really terrible remix of it? I'm going to search for now the original song was better. Because I'm going to at least add some funk to it. Like... <laughs> what the hell? I mean, at least the at least the original one was kind of hilarious. Because it had, like, some black guy trying to do, like, a British accent or something. Like, when I come home at night. Why am I trying to put an accent when I already have a British accent? Whatever. Uh, now, of course, you know, you got Michael Jackson, like... I always feel like somebody's watching me. Yeah, my singing sucks, Louisville. Deal with it. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I'd rather just listen to the original version. I'm just going to say it right now. <laughs> In fact, I might actually do that after I finish recording this. Because, uh, I really like the original. Even though, even though, you know, the actual guy who did the song isn't really that great. I mean, he, did, he, had, he was like a one hit wonder. The, game, the song had a really good tune to it, and it had Michael Jackson. And yeah, I do like Michael Jackson, you know. I like, well, I like his music, anyway, you know. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to get flagged for this song, by the way. I mean, I'm not sure why you'd really want to listen to a, to a bad cover version of Somebody's Watching Me, because, like I said, I'd rather just play the original. And I have played... I'm not sure if it was this dancing stage game, but it was... A DDR style game, at least I did play one in an arcade, and I was like, you know, didn't really get into it to be honest. Yeah, I was like, kind of meh after I played it. Um, which, which, why I said, which, as I said, is like, why I don't really care for these games because you know I didn't care for them in the arcade. Certainly not gonna care for them on the console. You know, like I said, the only one that really I would get the full version of is Prep the Rapper, and possibly on Jammy Lammy. I haven't played the demo of that one yet, so I can't really say if that one's any good. Um, I mean, I did used to have Vib Ribbon, actually. 
part. I don't have it anymore, unfortunately. But oh, no. I'm probably not going to bother getting that one, because apparently it goes for a lot nowadays, and you know, sod that. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather, I mean, frankly, you know, if the game's going to go for a lot of money, I'd rather just burn it to a CDR and just play it on my chipped PlayStation. I don't care if it's illegal, but I'm, I mean, I'm poor. Okay, what else am I going to do? Anyway, just want to sort of end this with the downloader. So let's see what this is like. Well, I mean, I already know what this is like. I have not looked at it on this one. But yeah, I know what these things do. Uh, when it comes up. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't got a memory card inserted because why would I insert a memory card for demos unless unless I was ready to download something from this, you know. Actually, I might as well have a quick look to see what these actually do. So, let's see, Dino Crisis 2. Uh, so what Dino Crisis I mean, I don't even own a lot of these games, to be honest. I mean, some of them I have. Um, Metal Gear Sold, obviously. Pro Gear 2, of course. Driver 2, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't... Oh, no, I mean, I use Light Driver, but nowadays it just doesn't really hold up, to be honest. Let's see that, so it unlocks all the missions. One minus seven. Stats galore. Okay, I guess that just makes it so you can just kill everyone with one hit, I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, open and explore the map. Uh, yeah. Oh, I not. have not played it, so whatever. Uh, Hoffman Pro BMX, don't have this one either, so. Devil's Playground, is that like a bonus level or something? I mean, like I said, I haven't, I haven't played it. I mean, I, I think I played the demo version at some point, but that was it. I'm pretty sure map was about 1T, but you know. Metal Gear Solid, what's this do? Uh... Explore, supposedly. Oh no. Maybe it just unlocks the map and you don't actually have to fight anyone, which would be kind of weird. Bro's go to two. Uh, oh, okay, these are like. Oh, I see, these are like stuff that's been created with a track editor, I'm assuming. Or. Track editor, sorry. Level editor, that was it. Oh, okay, load up career A. Okay. Uh, Mox Gate Place. So, I'm, yeah, I'm guessing that these two. Are like bonus levels or something. Oh, well, there's like ten saves for Tenchu Two. I haven't even got Tenchu Two. I've never played it. Let's. I'm not going to look at all these. But... Shun Soy's Castle. Okay. Uh, look at the tenth one actually. Postman's Hell. Oh, I would hate to be a postman where I live, just delivering parcels to me every day. Um, chaos. Actually, I've played the demo version of this before. I remember it sucked. <laughs> so, but yeah, I can unlock the levels. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just looking for all these because I mean, it's the last thing anyway. So it's not like there's really going to be any fellas to watch after this bit. Uh, two tracks. Are they bonus tracks or whatever? Because I, I honestly don't know. If they are bonus tracks, I will download that because I have got V Rally Two. It's actually quite a good game. But uh, well, that's World Scariest Police Chase, isn't it? Yeah. I haven't got that one, and... Oh yeah, there was a Wu-Tang Clan game, wasn't there? I haven't played it. it. Supposedly was... Kind of decent, I guess. But I never played it, so... Yeah. I'll end it here. Uh, you know. Overall, this isn't really that great of a demo. Uh, sorry. Overall, this isn't really that great of a demo. Um, I mean, Firebugs... Is probably the best game on here. At least in my opinion. Yeah, apart from you know, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 and maybe Crash Team Racing and possibly Tomb Raider Last Revelation, but of course that game crashed, so you know, sod it. Um, I don't know, most of the other games I don't really care for, so, you know. I think with that, I will see a load of people. See you.